Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another video. So, I want to talk a little bit about anxiety and like panic attacks. The overwhelming sensation of feeling completely out of control. Anxiety can either help us or it can destroy us. You know, I think people who suffer with anxiety tend to think of the worst. For example, somebody could get sick. For instance, you, you get sick. When we get sick, sometimes we think our entire world is crashing. We're, we have, we're terminally ill. We have cancer. We're dying. You know, your mind begins to really expand on ideas that can really cripple us. But the more research I've done on anxiety, I started to find out that anxiety, when someone who suffers with anxiety, it's normally because their imagination is so big, it's so extreme, so ambitious, yet they lack the control of their imagination. When they lack control of their imagination, they let their mind and the emotion of anxiety get the best of them, where they think of the worst case scenario. Anxiety is meant to protect you, yet we look at anxiety as a negative emotion, and any time that we suffer with anxiety, we think we have something wrong with us, but there's no such thing. It's an emotion. We can't shun an emotion. We can't put a band-aid over an emotion. We can't destroy an emotion. It's there to help us. It's there for a state of urgency. I think when the struggle comes in, that's, in, that's when anxiety is at an all-time high. But the reason for struggle is to be able to remove certain things in your life that cause the feeling of feeling uncomfortable. For instance, when everything comes crashing down in your life, when we begin to struggle, for example, you see who's really for you. You see who really has your back. You see who's really going to see you and be with you at your lowest point. That's just an example of a scenario in which we may struggle. But anxiety, like I said before, can either help you or it can aid you. When that overwhelming sensation begins to take control of how we feel, and not only how we feel, but how our mind broadens. When that starts to happen, and we start to think of the worst case scenario, you have to be able to remove yourself and catch yourself. When you're able to remove yourself and catch yourself every single time we start thinking of the worst, what you do is you start to become aware of the feeling of anxiety. You start to become aware of what is really making you feel anxious. And the more that you can do that over and over and over and over and over and over, you can create a new mechanism in which you can learn to take control of your imagination. When you learn to take control of your imagination, what you can do is you can transform your imagination and your anxiety from thinking from the worst to the best. From negative to positive, you can completely manipulate it. Now, a lot of us may have anxiety when we need to perform or we're starting a new job or we're meeting somebody new. Now, that's normal anxiety. That's just a state of being nervous and overwhelmed. That's normal. But people who suffer with crippling anxiety need to learn to take control of their mind. Your mind needs to become stronger than how you feel. And the only way that we can do that is to learn how to build a new program by continuously going back and learning how to take control of your imagination over and 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 over. We may think our mind is our friend. Our mind can either be our friend or it could be our worst enemy. So how are we going to manipulate this? How are we going to deal with the sensation? How are we going to no longer allow this emotion to control us? We can't look for medication. We can't look for a band-aid. We can't look to destroy the state of anxiety. 
It's there for a specific reason because what we're aligned with, what we are suffering with is no longer aiding us. It's no longer feeding us. Therefore, we need to learn to take control of it. When you learn how to take control of it, you can use it to manifest. You can use it to broaden your imagination to think about positive things. But it's commitment. It's the discipline. It's to be able to catch yourself and to become aware and to observe. Observe what your mind is telling you. Thank it. Appreciate what it's telling you. But just because what your mind tells you doesn't make it true. It doesn't make it true. So when you can start to understand that, when we can start to understand that, over time, you start to take control of how you think. And when you start to take control of how you think, you can redirect that and manipulate and transform the anxiety to aid you. It's a magical thing. The power is always from within. But when we give power to how we feel, it consumes us. When it consumes us, it consumes our mind. When it consumes our mind, it consumes our imagination where we think of the worst. And instead of thinking the worst, we need to think of the best possible scenario, the best possible outcome. So we're looking at it from a pessimistic view to an optimistic view. All right. I love you guys. And as always, peace and love.